I thought this was very interesting that I wanted to share. This is something I have been ranting, I don't want to say angrily about, but it was very unfair. I made a video a year or two ago about this phrase right here. Fight the good fight. This is the slogan of renowned regional medical center here in Reno. Every day has the potential to be one of your best. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the potential to be one of your best. I was told by a manager that I could not have fight the good fight on my email. So I, what I did was, to be fair, we, they came out with the slogan, fight the good fight. And I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera around because I'm, I'm getting all fired up. But when I worked at Renown, I started in 2017. I want to say it was 2018 or 2019. They came out with the slogan, fight the good fight. And I thought, oh my God, I love that. It's from 2 Timothy. Who wouldn't love that, right? So I put fight the good fight of faith in quotations at the bottom of my email and quoted 2 Timothy. And not a week maybe later, my manager, who claimed to be a man of God, said that he had the decision at one point to become a nurse or become a pastor. He's the one who walks up to me and says, you have to remove that off your email. I was like, no, I'm not gonna. He said, you have to. It's a, you can't, you can't, you can't associate scripture with the phrase fight the good fight and I said why did the CEO come up with it by himself is it his thought and his idea alone and the, the ending of the conversation was just remove it from your email please okay well needless to say I didn't last there long but Renown is still a major medical facility in the middle of Reno the biggest hospital in the middle of Reno there's also St. Mary's in northern Nevada but Renown is renowned around here and every day has the potential to be the best of your best. So let's talk about Mr. or Dr. Tony Sloan, right? Look at all those letters after his name. MD, Dr. PH, FA, former president of Renown, former president and CEO of Renown. Well, why formal? Why, why former, former president, doctor? Yeah, well, maybe I gave a little bit away because I, I put that top there. But this is an article months ago. Multiple sources confirmed that this is Reno, with this is Reno, that there are numerous allegations facing renown and the hospital's now former CEO, Tony Slonim. Slonim was fired for a cause yesterday. Now, this is an old article. As part of an investigation, allegations range from sexual harassment, unethical behavior by top executives, financial mismanagement, and an organizational culture rife which, with dysfunction and employee mistreatment. The investigation has not concluded, two sources say, Allegations against Slonim were proved to be factual from a multitude of sources. A current employee told This Is Reno, hospital financial loss by the hospital are from executive overhead and financial folly. So it goes on into more details about Dr. Slonim. But this is a doctor who chose fight the good fight. This guy right here. Well, I guess he fought the good fight, huh? The irony. I just, it makes me mad when people like this, who are net worth of a million dollars or more in a small town of Reno, picks fight the good fight, obviously a piece of scripture, but not scripture, according to him. It's like a slap in the face to Jesus Christ. It's like a, it's a slap in the face to Christians. And then you turn out to be this wolf in sheep's clothing. I, I don't want to say the wolf in sheep's clothing because it's not like I thought he was ever a sheep, um, it, innocent lamb to begin with, even before this all came about. 
But that's what it is, you guys. The, the top executives and their demented mantras of using scripture against people for their cause and now here's renown two years later still posting fight the good fight but it's not it's not from the bible that we can't say it's from the bible they thought of it all by themselves i am so mad about this i just think it's detestable that these these institutions act this way anyways if y'all ever come to reno and you get sick don't go to renown